Alrighty guys and girls, this is Flavored with Daily PvP here. And you know, uh, just a few seconds ago, I was thinking about going outside and maybe meeting, meeting a nice girl, uh, hanging out with friends, all that jazz. But then I, I noticed this hotball match there, and you know, who needs a friggin' social life when you got yourself a match of hotball? And between Harbinger and Drama nonetheless, so I thought, who cares about all that friggin' stuff? No drinking, no girls, just my computer and commentating solar rank match. So anyways, uh, for this match we will be going to Tomb of Nad, Nad once again, and this will be played between Fins, uh, the Harbinger there guild, against Drama, a newly created guild on the Tomb of Nad consisting of solid players from different guilds, such as Ace, Impulse, White Noise. And let's look at the setups they will be uh, pitting against each other. Pitting, huh. Ha. <laughs> what a silly pun. Pitting against each other. Anyways, uh, looks like it's a triple healing uh, setup for Drama once again. Uh, two operatives, one sorcerer. They've got Yami as their main tank as well as Schizophrenia as Shadow. And they've also got a mercenary DPS as well as a couple of Marauders. One of them will be probably Carnage. Uh, at the same time, Harbinger got uh, two Sentinels of their own, one of them is definitely combat right now, judging from that transcendence, and oh my god, oh, oh my god, actually Drama manages to grab the first ball, and they are, uh, and, the ball, and the operative who grabbed the ball gets immediately, immediately pulled back, but something happens which we did not unfortunately see and the ball gets reset but at the same time at the same time uh, drama manages to grab it once again good job by drama there and uh, the ball carrier is already making his way i do not know where though what right now he seems to be hiding waiting for the main tank for drama to receive his pass and does that happen? Yes, uh, I suppose it does. That is uh, yummy there. Uh, is it not? And it looks like Fluffy Blood Ball will be trying to get into position. Great pull, but unfortunately, a telekinetic wave was not so great. And uh, he just returns, carefully returns that uh, Juggernaut tank to his rightful uh, place. Oh my god, Schizophrenia tries to control Fluffy Blood Ball and knocks him down into the pit. Uh, at the same time, it doesn't look like... Oh, no. Uh, it, it, he is behind the fence here. It looks like that Ace... Uh, why am I calling them Ace? I was just thinking about Garike. Don't mind me. That Drama is about to score their first point. But at the same time, Fluffy Blood Ball is trying to... Uh, but I don't think it's gonna gonna be happening. Oh my god, there is a little bit of a lag. What the hell? What a great push! Uh, I mean pull, but at the same time, Yami immediately recuperates from that. Uses Adrenal, Warzone Adrenal, uses Mad Pack and decides to score. What a good move. At the same time, Fluffy says, I can walk on fire. And then he uses his face walk, which is previously carefully placed at the ball spawn. But Fayar is already in position of the ball. And I don't think that Fluffy Blood Ball will be able to make anything happen right now. But we will uh, see. Fayar is trying to find someone to give a pass to. Uh, but uh, at the same time, being vigorously healed here. Fluffy Blood Ball is about to go down. It looks like Schizophrenia. Oh my god, misses. Um, misses that uh, shadow strike of his, misses that maul, and Fire is still uh, going strong. Is it still Fire? Yes, it looks like someone from Drama is trying to make their way towards the line of uh, Harbinger, but uh, oh, unfortunately, a little bit of a failed pull there from Fluffy Blood Ball, and Fire decides to uh, pass the ball. And, Fluffy Blood Ball disengages as the rest of the Harbinger, it looks like they are coming back to the middle. Garike is here too, but so far presence for Harbinger is much bigger here. Garike will easily be controlled even though right now his uh, result bar is full. Uh, trying to punch 
punch even though he's using lightsabers but still trying to punch Fluffy Blood Ball as hard as he is only capable of at the same time. It looks like it, there is some delay for drama and the ball is still in the pit. Will a Fluffy, oh my god, but get spotted of course and, um, and the ball carrier immediately moves to the safe spot there preventing any further attempts at the pools and still waiting for some support what is going on what is this delay for drama it's quite it's getting quite dangerous i'm telling you uh maybe harbinger could have uh, uh, could have could have already killed could have already killed the, the uh, ball carrier and, and, oh my god he uh, he there is some finally someone uh, to give yami a lift but uh, but the uh, Will there be a pool or something? Yes, there is a pool. And I didn't think there is anyone else for drama at the line once again. But Fluffy Blood Ball, though, goes down. Oh, my God. I am not sure what exactly is going on in drama's ranks right now. It looks like there is uh, some, one of the operatives coming in. It seems to be Fire, I think. Uh, yes, it is. Will there be? Oh, my God. That was a great telekinetic wave. Unfortunately, it did not work out ex ex exceptionally well for, um, for uh, of course, Fluffy Blood Ball there. Unfortunately, Fayar did not get... Uh, did not get knocked off the ledge, if only by a small millimeter. Um, and of course, uh, the ball carrier for drama is now waiting for his uh, cooldown to uh, roll back. Uh, once again, failed telekinetic wave. Oh my uh, god. So many, so many good, good attempts, but unfortunately, none of them works out exactly as Harbinger would want. And finally, I suppose Yami will be scoring that ball and it's gonna be 2-0 in favor of Drama. It's showing a good game so far. Uh, but finally, Harbinger manages to grab that ball. It's Harva Vanguard. And no, Vanguards are as squishy as a jelly these days. Well, they've always been, but these days they're exceptionally squishy. So uh, maybe he should find someone to pass Cool. Let's uh, look at the, the ops frame so far, though it's Morivai, the uh, tank, uh, the primary guardian tank for Harbinger and Kiyusa, um, a scoundrel healer for for the very same team, are taking quite a lot of damage. It looks like um, Drama is doing a great job at controlling the primary tank, uses his Enuer, but the scoundrel healer is about to go down, oh my god. Uh, receives a huge burst of healing and stays alive but it was a very damn close over there if they lost if they lost that healer um, maybe they would not have scored but they haven't scored yet so we don't know but oh my god here here goes here goes uh, <laughs> the score double resilience and they get the ball but it was a little bit preemptive uh, I personally think uh, still it worked out for them well so let's see what happens next Karpaslatka right now is getting pounded. Uh, well, maybe not so much after Zenzei there giving giving awe on three members of drama. That's that's always why it is dangerous to stack together. You can get controlled and fire a little bit of a dangerous landing right into the fire trap. These hots pull off tricks on you. I'm telling you, they they rig they rig these uh, jumpers there. That whenever you need whenever you need to like like land it land in some specific spot it always throws you somewhere else and well harbingers are in position of the ball once again and will they be scoring it it looks like they will be uh, i think uh, judging from the minimap the key ball carrier is at the line yes here comes the score but so far it looks like uh, presence for drama is better in the mid uh, fluffy blood ball pops his resilience but is not able to grab the ball and it's once again in the uh, in the all grabbing hands of uh, drama there Fluffy Blood Ball as well as Karpas Latka are going in position and oh great save, great save by the Sork of Drama because if he was just a second late it would have been a fried yummy delivered to our tables or rather to Harbinger's tables there, not sure. Uh, not sure if uh, they would like to eat a dish like that but hey she's called yummy or maybe it's he, I suppose it's he after all. 
never actually talked to Yami, even though I've played with, uh, with the character quite a lot of times. But anyway, since his name is Yami, it probably would have tasted good if he fried. And oh my god, Fluffy Blood Ball gets spotted by Torn. And oh, holy crap, what the hell? Full resolve uh, right when, when it was essential to use a telekinetic wave. Oh my god, and it's 3 to 2 in favor of Drama there. Good job, good job. Uh, goes to Drama for doing for doing so much in this game this hot ball is goddamn intense though uh, Harbinger right now grabs the ball and um, using using transcendence going for that line uh, Sentinel decides to carry the ball but he has to be careful he's very very squishy at the same time though a drama decides not to follow uh, assuming it is uh, already a score but th there are a couple of members of drama there oh my god uh, fluffy blood ball gets stunned doesn't have a breaker goes down oh you have to be careful around these fire traps seriously uh, juice thaw is also uh, is also dead but right now door opens and everyone's out uh, so far no score for harbinger though it's still three to two and i wonder what's going on at the line i think they are gonna be scoring right now yes uh, here goes the score grenade is used but oh fire do it does great job at grabbing the ball once again uh, years of experience in uh, grabbing grabbing someone's balls really pay off uh, I didn't mean anything uh, profane there I just uh, was thinking about about uh, you know playing playing the pit and then I realized what I just said but uh, let's forget about it and uh, let's see if uh, drama is able to score once again, uh, judging from the presence, uh, judging from their presence there, they will be able to score that ball and will be in the lead once again. Two minutes and 45 seconds remain, and uh, well, they're going toe to toe. Uh, let's see what happens. Will a Fluffy be? Uh, um, uh, he's getting in a position there, or maybe he actually wants to pull. To pull a uh, yummy and, and uh, make him score. Yes, he does that. Receives the signal from his team, probably that they are in control of the middle. And yes, they grab the ball. They can definitely still win this. Will they be uh, going? Uh, and uh, I don't know. Will they be able to score the next ball? We'll see uh, right now. Because seriously, uh, drama has uh, to be playing their best right now. They have. They cannot. They cannot. Uh, let Harbingers uh, just score balls for free anymore. They have to try and take down that ball carrier. They have to prevent the next score and uh, it looks like they're doing uh, just that right now. But uh, so far I don't see a uh, ball carrier for the Harbingers uh, to, go, uh, to go down. Whoa, seriously, this guy is intense. It looks like Drama is returning back to the middle and uh, Harbingers are actually able to score. Grenade resisted, but unfortunately not getting the ball just in time. Fayar once again grabs it. And uh, Fluffy Blood Ball once again subtly just going into that fire trap and pulls Fayar, but uh, well, um, I'm pretty sure that Drama saw that move and um, Sorcerer for uh, Drama was already in position prepared to pull the ball carrier back and that's exactly what happened there. One minute remains, the score is 4-4 four four, and uh, Drama right now is in possession of the ball. They, they've decided that they have the capabilities of, uh, of fending off the direct assault from Harbingers and holding that ball, look at that, hiding behind the bucket. I learned that word from Americans, they told me this thing is called the bucket, so that's how we are gonna be calling it. Northern Bucket right now is <laughs> the place of that major fight, 30 seconds remaining into this game. Uh, and uh, well, Fayard right now is holding the ball, uh, no chance of pulling him out unless uh, some uh, double pull is performed, but uh, it, it doesn't look like they are doing that. Uh, remember that uh, Drama has triple heal right now, and this is where it's paying off. Fayar is just not dropping any hit points, he's constantly goddamn full, and here 
in here. Oh my god, this is so insane. I'm completely, uh, I'm completely forgetting all of the English words right now. But it was insane. Good job there by Drama. They definitely did a little bit of a better, better job at controlling the ball there uh, than Harbingers. And thus, uh, yeah, they, they will win this game, even though it was very close. Good play by both of the teams. Uh, congratulations uh, to Drama uh, taking this game. Whoa, uh, until the very last moment, I definitely didn't know how it will end. Well, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this game there uh, I really I was really excited I hope I hope you could tell uh, by how by the way I was talking by by the way how my English got even worse than it usually is uh, seriously I was watching the game and I was like oh these guys they're definitely doing it well but anyway uh, don't forget to subscribe at youtube.com slash daily pvp there my channel with all the videos um, with all the pvp videos uh, as well as follow me on facebook and twitter uh, both at slash daily pvp as well as make yourself a twitch tv uh, account and follow uh, my channel at twitch.tv slash daily pvp because uh, recently i've started doing a live cast these will not make it to the YouTube channel and will stay on Twitch.tv channel. So if you are interested in this, uh, well, you should definitely check them out. You don't need an account to check them out, but it would be nice if you made one and followed me. Definitely could use more uh, live viewers there. But well, um, previously I said that I uh, will not be going, going out because I wanted to watch this hotball, but now that it's over, I am gonna just uh, change my clothes there because they're all sweaty from such an exciting game and head outside. Hopefully you all enjoyed this game as much as I did uh, and I bid you and I bid you all a farewell for now. See you guys and girls later.